Formula One cars to the grid for the 1973 Watkins Glen Formula One Grand Prix as they pass through the paddock area and you'll see some of the vintage racing cars that ran earlier today in a racing uh, demonstration. So that was Jackie Stewart just passing by in a hurry. He had just learned and was called to the Stewart's headquarters to discuss the accident that happened. Francois Sever lost his life, Jackie Stewart's teammate, in the practice sessions. Motor racing is kind of a big worry. The rules are essentially based on the environmental situations that occur every minute of every day. Cars respond differently to the track temperature and the weather. It's like anything else you do in sports. So you're weather sensitive, if that's the correct word. It's practice right now, and everybody is trying to get into the groove, trying to figure out the track, figure out what the tire temperatures are going to be. At this point, cars were very quick, very agile. You'll see the rear wings, you'll see the big scoops behind the drivers to get the cool air flowing quickly into the uh, fuel injection units. Most of the cars at that time ran with magnetos uh, versus electronic. There was always a big discussion as uh, what the next big thing was going to be. Literally, the communication was the pit boards and out at the edge of the track, and you only got that once every lap as you drove by. And sometimes, if the lap time and the, where the pit boards were located were in an area where you were flying by, you couldn't even read the pit boards. So you were pretty much on your own.
was not a lonesome game. Uh, what it was was a ballet of all the different drivers. You were happy to be racing with somebody because it was like dancing. Uh, when you're all alone, you're all alone on a track and that wasn't very good. And you always try to hook up because two cars, three cars, four cars could go faster because they'd break the draft than uh, one car all alone.